we have a deal. The state House and Senate leaders have agreed to a state budget this afternoon. With an expectation to spend around 13 billion KOCO's Andy Weber joining us live now. Andy, this came after several long weeks of meetings between the House, the Senate and the governor. Yeah, Zach, and it was only until today that a deal was actually in sight. There was a lot of movement over the past few days about what money should go where. The big takeaway, there are no income tax cuts in this deal. We didn't get another tax cut done, but earlier in the session we got the grocery tax, which was huge for Oklahomans. And, um, you know, hopefully next year I'm going to keep fighting for that. Um, and then we got some of our priorities. Uh, maybe something with shareholders. Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt telling reporters today he's happy with what the two parties agreed to, but as you heard, Stitt says he will be pushing for tax cuts again next session, that he won't be letting up on his effort to give Oklahomans a pay raise. No agency budgets were cut, but some were kept flat, meaning they'll have the same budget as they did last year. And the budget is expected to have a smooth road ahead with Republicans controlling both chambers. The governor has said he will not veto any of this budget. Back to you. Well, Andy, obviously this is all very good news, but the budget isn't official just yet. What's going to happen next? Well, now staff in both chambers will take the process over drafting bills to match everything that was agreed to. They have to have those bills drafted and then passed by lawmakers by the end of next week. Reporting live at the Capitol, I'm Andy Weber, KOCO 5 News.